Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Khao Sok National Park in Southern Thailand, and we're staying at a place that's called Our Jungle Camp, which is an eco-lodge. We stayed in a tree house last night. This place is incredible, and what's also really cool is they have a whole farm on their property. Uh, so today, we're gonna walk around the farm, we're gonna pick vegetables, we're gonna pick some ingredients, and then we're gonna cook those ingredients right on spot. Uh, let's walk around, let's see what they have, and I can't wait to try some of the fresh, amazing produce that they're growing here. Awesome. So she is the chef and he takes care of the farm, right? Okay, so we're gonna walk to the to the farm right now and we're gonna harvest some of the vegetables and then start cooking. Oh, to the farm, nice sign right here. <laughs> Come yes. up. Oh, the my oh, thank you very much. You have a hat to put on. Oh, that's great, yes. It is wow. sunny. <laughs> <laughs> that is straight up an umbrella for your head. I like spicy, yes. I love spicy. You like spicy also? Uh, no? <laughs> Uh, okay, we're just getting out to the farm passing. Well, they're growing some they're growing some corn and a lot of papayas. Green papayas going. Oh, chai ka buap. Buap yak ma Oh. Oh. It's okay. Oh. I got stuck with the hat. Look at the size of the in Thai it's called buap. It's a type of gourd. I believe it's a, a type of lufus in English. Uh, this one is huge though. I don't think I've ever seen one this big. It's like the it's the size of your, it's the size of your arm. Uh, but she said this one is kind of old to eat. So maybe it's kind of tough and fibrous. So you normally you want to eat a, a bit of a smaller one, but just the, the size of this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All of those gourds might be too big to eat, but they have some more, some more over here. This is the one we're gonna get. Ah, okay. Ani on gua. Ka. Ooh. Mm. Kap it can be called a ridged gourd or a, maybe not a lufus, maybe a lufa. A lufa, okay. <laughs> lufa acutangula. Angled lufa, an angled lufa. Long beans. Yard long beans. Do you eat it raw? Eat fresh. You eat it fresh, okay. Yes. I love to eat fresh. Okay. What is this one? Salt. Very fresh. Very fresh. Mmm. It's sweet. Mm, oh, I'm not coming. Sweet and juicy and so crisp. Mm. You like the tower? Come to my gum. Ah, come. Gin soot, can I? Gin gum lump. Oh, gin soot, do I come? Pak home dang. I think maybe in English, amaranth? Is it amaranth in English? Yeah. I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but entire pak kom dang. Okay, so this is your nursery. Oh, and also it's uh, a little greenhouse, right? Yeah. So less less rain. So quickly stepping into this is like a little nursery, uh, but also a little bit of a greenhouse because right now in southern Thailand it is so wet. It rains hard like clockwork every single afternoon, so it gets really wet. Uh, so these are some of the plants, also some of the vegetables to control the the water, the amount of water also in here. Leafy, leafy kind of salad greens. And then come to this vined section. Uh, there's, look at the, here we go, passion fruit. Passion fruit on the vine. And there's also dragon fruit somewhere around here too. Oh man, I love passion fruit. Yes. <laughs> Perfectly ripe, naturally. Vine ripe. Cup, cup. From the more organized garden section, now this is more of the food forest, which is where there's trees, fruit trees, limes, bamboo, more bamboo. There's, there's just an abundance of bamboo in Southern Thailand, especially around this jungle area. Uh, oh, okay. You have to make a jam from Roselle. Roselle, okay. Yeah. Roselle. 
what an amazing farm. Just the location of it. And I love, yeah, what they're doing here, growing food, organic vegetables. And also it's a whole education center because they, uh, school camps and especially schools from this, well, there's a spider web on the, the lens, but uh, schools from this community, this area in Khao Sok, uh, they often have camps here. And I think we're walking through the camp section right now. Oh yeah, tons of mangosteen is just blooming all over the place too. Very sweet, very juicy, yeah. Oh, there may not be anything better in the world than mangosteen. Right off the tree. Mm. If I have to make a jam from oh, this. Okay. Nice. Oh, so we're kind of going back into the, the jungle here. Then pak ba up. Oh, wow. It's just the jungle, a jungle vegetable. Foraging. Oh, that is it. Wow. Pak good. Pak good. You, you can try. Can eat it raw too? Awesome. Wild fern and you can eat it raw. Oh wow, it's so crisp and kind of like a little bit gummy. Oh, that's delicious. I'll lie. Oh, so this is the same fern, but we're yeah. just eating the young sprouts. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Ah, okay. I've eaten pakgut so many times in Bangkok throughout Thailand, but I've never seen just the wild harvested ferns like this. <laughs> okay, we're back from the with the harvest. Uh, and we're gonna this is like the kitchen, but also the cooking school that they have here and this this is what I'm most interested in. It's the wild pakgut, the wild fern. And again, I've eaten this so many times, but I've never harvested it and never foraged for it. So this, and this is a very forageable, in Thai they call it like a pak ban ban, like a very, very local backyard vegetable. So I'm mostly gonna watch Kun Pen as she cooks because she's, she's an awesome cook, but I will put on the apron. She's gonna be making three different dishes with some of the ingredients that we got. One is geng som, which is the, the, one of the most, the ultimate of Southern Thai dishes, which is a sour curry with turmeric, with a curry paste. Uh, yeah, I love geng som. Uh, then she's gonna make the, a salad with the, the fern that we got, and then also stir fried that uh, loofah. That is so Spicy? Spicy, okay, there you go. Oh, that smells incredible. The turmeric in there is just bumping. The garlic, the chilies, uh, and then she added in cauliflower, carrots, tofu, the long those uh, long beans that we picked, and I think that's it. And then uh, lime juice, and then of course that curry paste that she put it in the water first. And the curry paste definitely includes garlic, chilies, turmeric, pepper. I think galangal, lemongrass, and I'm probably forgetting a bunch of things too.
She just really flash blanched the fern, then put it in ice water so that it doesn't turn brown. And then also I think that's gonna hold its crispness and keep it really green. She added in first the prick pao, which is a uh, roasted chili jam. Then she added in a little bit of palm sugar. She added in some salt. She added in uh, onions. And she just scraped off only the buttery, rich, creamy uh, coconut cream. Mixed that into a sauce. It's so rich, it's so thick, like a gravy dressing for the fern. Um, and then stirred up that fern in there, added on some peanuts, some sliced chilies. Oh man, that's beautiful. And now we're on to the final dish, which is the, the loofah that we harvested. Yes. Ah. Organic. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. I am incredibly excited. I'm just gonna immediately dig in. I'm not even gonna take off the apron. I've gotta begin with that yam pakgut, the fern salad. And you can see the juices have just come out of it. But that thick dressing, just the, the richness of it, the coconut milk, the roasted chili. Oh, wow. Oh, that is, that is stunning. It is that coconut cream in there, paired with the lime juice for that tartness. The, the chili jam, a little bit of palm sugar to give it like a balanced taste. And then that fresh fern, which then she iced. Oh, okay. Wow, thank you so much. It's amazing. Oh, my mom, cop. She's a master, master chef. And, and again, everything is plant-based. Um, Everything that she cooked today, that fern, that crunch, that crispness, uh, the way she added it on ice, oh, that's, that is stunningly delicious. Mm. Mm. Rich and big on spice. Okay, this one is the gang som, the sour southern curry, all those vegetables in here, chunks of tofu, turmeric uh, curry paste, and lime juice to make it sour. I'll put some of this onto my, my rice. Oh wow, it is spicy and then just so fresh with all those vegetables. Yang Som is one of my favorite dishes in the world. It just works so well with all those ingredients and all those, those fresh, it's all about that curry paste with the, the turmeric and the chilies and the garlic and lemongrass. Yeah, and that mix of flavor that just comes out when you pound a curry paste or grind a curry paste. That's pretty awesomely spicy too. And the final dish is the lufa, which she stir fried up with uh, some mushroom sauce as well as soy sauce and garlic.
Oh, it's so hot. Another just fantastic dish to wrap up this entire meal. It does have a similar texture and taste to zucchini, but a little, but the skin is a little more, I'd say it's a little more leathery. And then the inside is very kind of soft and just a hint of a like slimy texture to it. But yeah, that's just delicious. The garlic, the mushroom soy. Amazing food from the garden. And just this amazing view, looking out over the jungle, over the cliff. And these are passion fruits that we picked right off the vine. Or actually, they were they uh, fell on their own. Yeah, they fell on their own. So they're perfectly ripe and juicy. And no, nothing better. Oh wow, that, that passion fruit is delicious. So sour is what I love about passion fruit, but it's kind of sweet at the same time. And that crunch of the siege. No better way to end a meal. A delicious, incredible meal. Getting a tour of the farm here at our jungle camp and then going back to the kitchen. Uh, Kun Pen cooking, she's so cool and she cooked some, that was incredibly tasty food. Uh, spicy, full of flavor. That was an awesome meal. And I think they do, they offer a whole cooking class here. You can, I mean, you could just walk around the farm here when you're, when you come here, you can uh, walk around the farm. It's an amazing place to stay and eco -lodge. You can uh, stay in a tree house here. And then you can also eat at the restaurant. You can order uh, plant-based dishes. So that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to Big On Spice. I'm gonna be publishing a lot more videos, especially featuring and about unique fruits and vegetables, about food that's good for you and about food that's big on spice. And today, the food was definitely big on spice and just, yeah, amazing, fresh farm to table food. Okay, thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.